guess what? It's Friday, and after today, we have two days off of school. So we're gonna have some fun with our number of the day on Friday. Are you ready? Where's my number bag? We gotta pick our number for today. So I'm gonna shake it up. There's not very many left in there. So we've almost done all of them. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Oh, are you ready for this number? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it comes. Oh, what number do you see, friends? What number could it be? It's number nine. So we're gonna fill out our number chart all about number nine. Are you ready? Do you remember how to make a number nine? Guess what? It's a circle and a stick. Easy peasy, right? So we start at the top, circle, oh, my marker kind of messed up. Circle and a stick. What number did Miss Hamilton make? Nine. What number did you make? Nine. Perfect. Now I need to write the number word. Let's listen. Mm, mm, nine. Mm, mm, nine. What letter makes that mm sound? It's for nest. Mm, mm, n. Nine. Nine. Number nine. Word nine. How many counters do I need to put on, friends? You guys know how to do this. You sure do. We need to put nine counters on. Can you help me count them as I put them on? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Next row, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. How many more would I need to make 10? to fill up my 10 frame. How many more would I need? I just need one more, one more. Nine plus one would give me 10. Let's make our tally marks. How many tally marks do I need? Of course, I need nine because that's my number of the day. Are you ready? You can do yours with your magic finger or you can write them on your paper. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Closes the gate, make a little space. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tally marks. One more and I would close the gate again. Yeah. Now I need to do what? If you said nine pictures, you would be correct. So let's make our nine pictures. I think I'm just going to make circles because nine is a big number. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine circles. I've got to find nine on my number chart. Hmm, where could nine be? Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking. Is this number nine? Oh, you said no. What number is that? Two. That's not the number I need, is it? Hmm, is this number nine? No? What number is that? Oh, seven. I'm getting closer. Is this number nine? Yes, I got it. So let's put a circle. And now we're ready to do nine jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was tough. That was a lot of jumps for my arm. My arm is so tired, I'm gonna shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, so we need to make some number sentences. Um, should we use our number bonds? Should we use our 10 frame? Or should we use our felt with the pictures? Which one do you guys like? I think Miss Hamilton likes to use the felt because then I get to look at some animals and some other things. So I'm getting some animals ready for you to see. I 
think you've already seen these animals. Well, it's one animal and one is not an animal. We're gonna use snowmen because it's cold outside and sometimes when it's cold outside, it snows and we can make a snowman. And we're gonna use rabbits just because Ms. Hamilton thinks they're cute. All right, friends. So let's see if we can make some number sentences for number nine. Let's try this one. Let me put some things on so I can surprise you. Are you ready? Are you getting ready to see what Miss Hamilton comes up with? All right, take a look. How many snowmen do you see? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. There's five snowmen, so let's write that down first. Five. How many rabbits do you see? Count them. One, two, three, four. Oh, so how many things do I have on my board all together? How many things, if I put the snowmen and the rabbits together, how many are there? Five plus four equals nine. You got it. All right, I'm gonna try to be really tricky this time. I'm gonna make it harder for you to count things. One, two, three, four. All right, I mixed them up this time. How many snow, oh, rabbit. You need to stay up there. How many snowmen do you see? They're not in a line, so you have to make sure you count them all. One, two, three, four snowmen. How many rabbits do you see? They're not in a line either, are they? So we gotta make sure we count them all, so I'm gonna touch them when I count them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, four snowmen and five rabbits. How many pictures does that give me? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four snowmen and five rabbits equals nine pictures. Let's do one more. Do you think I should? put them in a line or do you think I should mix them up? Mm, I kind of like mixing them up. I think it makes it harder for you. It challenges you. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Huh. Wow, do you see more snowmen or do you see more rabbits? I think there's more snowmen. Let's count them. Let's count the snowmen first. One, two, three, four, five, six snowmen. And how many rabbits are there? Count them. One, two, three. Ooh, I wonder, six plus three, what could that be? How many pictures are on my board? Should we count them all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six snowmen and three rabbits give me nine. Well, you know what? That snowman fell off. If I take one away, how many are left? Ooh, let's count them and see. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Take away one snowman, leaves me eight. You guys did awesome. Have a good weekend and I will see you on Monday.